In this video, I explain what is eccentricity, focus, and directrix and few of the other basic terms. So first we understand the basic terms like focus, directrix, what is vertex, what is axis, and then after we understand the definition of eccentricity and we find out what is the value of eccentricity for ellipse, parabola and hyperbola. So first we understand what is directrix. Directrix is the fixed line. Okay, so one fixed line it is called as the directrix. So here you see this one vertical fixed line and here I denoted this line by using DD terms. Okay, that's why here in the bracket DD is written. So what is directrix? It is the one fixed line. Second term axis. Axis is the line passing through focus and perpendicular to the directrix. So next term we understand the focus. So what is focus that we discuss later on. But first we need to draw one perpendicular line to the directrix. Means we need to draw one horizontal lines because directrix is verticals. So perpendicular line means 90 degree lines. Okay. So here we draw one horizontal line. It is called as the axis and it is denoted as C to A. Third definition is the focus. Focus is denoted as a F. So focus is defined as the fixed point. Okay, so fixed point is called as the focus and it is the internal points of the any conic section. Means it is the internal point of the ellipse, it is the internal point of the parabola, it is the internal points of the hyperbola. So suppose this is the ellipse and one fixed point. This is the F, it is called as the focus. And here you see it is the internal points of the conic sections, means it is the internal points of the ellipse. Next term is the vertex. Vertex is denoted as the V. Vertex is a point at which the conic cuts its axis. Okay, so this is the conic, means ellipse is the conic, and it's cut the axis. Okay, this is the axis line A to C. So this point is called as the vertex V. And it is also called as the moving points. So here we are discussing the two terms, focus and vertex. Focus is called as the fixed point, and the vertex is called as the moving points. So these two points are very important to define the eccentricity. So what is the eccentricity? Eccentricity is denoted by E, and it is the ratio of the two distance. Okay, so in a graph we have a certain distance. So distance from fixed point F to the directrix. So it is the distance is the F to C. Okay, another distance is the distance between the fixed point and the vertex. And the third distance is the distance from the vertex to directrix, means C point. So eccentricity E is the ratio of distance of the moving point from the focus. So what is our moving point? Moving point is the vertex V from the focus means distance between V to F divided by distance of the moving point vertex from the directrix means this distance V to C or a C to V means it is the ratio of this V to F divided by V to C it is called as the eccentricity and the value of eccentricity is different for ellipse, hyperbola and the parabola. Now from this diagram you can understand what is the value of eccentricity for the ellipse. So this distance means in upper part distance of the moving point from the focus. So this is the smaller distance of V to F divided by distance from the vertex to the directrix. So it is a larger distance. Suppose this distance is 1 cm and this distance is 4 cm. So 1 divided by 4. So what we get answer? Answer is the 0 0.25. So it is less than 1 means eccentricity of the ellipse is always less than 1 and this value is remains constant. Now before moving ahead, I request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to engineering graphics or engineering drawing subjects or basic mechanical engineering or other subjects of these mechanical engineering. For engineering graphics, various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car or you can also visit the playlist for a more subject. So this is the basic definition that we already understand. 
So again, I repeat for the ellipse means eccentricity for the ellipse e is equal to distance vf. So what is the vf? Vf is the distance of the moving point means vertex from the focus means this distance v to f divided by distance of the moving point from the directrix means this distance this is v to c. So suppose we we can simply understand from the diagram which is the smaller and which is the larger. So v to f is smaller and this is the larger means its value is supposed to and this value is 4 and 2 by 4 we get the 0.5. Suppose this v to f is 0 0.9 and v to c is the 1 then we get the answer 0 0.9 means we get the answer is less than 1. So it is found to be always less than 1 and here we also write down in a diagram ellipse in bracket e is less than 1. Next is for the parabola. Now here you see this is a second diagram for the parabola. Now what is the v? v is the moving point or a vertex. So this v point is for the ellipse. Now we need to locate the new v points for the parabola. Okay, So this is the point v for the parabola. So here we write down e is equal to same thing that is the vf divided by vc means first distance of the moving point from the focus. So this is our moving point v to the focus. So it is the vf divided by distance of the moving point from the directrix. So it is v to c. Now in the diagram you can see these both the distance are looking similar. Means v to f and v to c are same. So what we get? Suppose this v to f is 1 v to c is 1 then 1 divided by 1 we get the answer 1. Suppose v to f is the 3 and v to c is also 3. So 3 divided by 3 we get the answer 1. So eccentricity for the parabola is equal to 1 and it is always equal to 1. Next one is for the hyperbola. So here we draw the green color curve that is the hyperbola and this is the vertex point V for the hyperbola. So what is the eccentricity for hyperbola? It is greater than 1. Okay. So definition is same distance of the moving point from the focus. Our moving point is the V and the focus is F. Now here you see this V to F is the larger compared to this V to C. So this Vf divided by Vc means the distance of the moving point V from the directrix. So this is a distance Vc. So now Vc is smaller, Vf is larger. So suppose Vf is 2 and Vc is 1 centimeters. Okay, so 2 divided by 1, we get the answer is 2. So it is greater than 1. Suppose this V to F is 6 and V to C is the 2. Okay, then 6 divided by 2, we get the answer 3. So eccentricity is always greater than 1 for the hyperbola. Okay, now you can easily remember from this words. Okay, so ellipse is written like this way. Okay, and here you see the symbol of the less than is also like as the shape of the E. Okay, so in a less than symbol, here we draw horizontal line, it look like the E. So this way you can also remember the value for a ellipse eccentricity is less than 1. For parabola it is 1. For hyperbola it is greater than 1. So thank you for watching this video. If you learn something then like the video and don't forget to subscribe my channels.